guys, how's it going? MacFan9000 here, here with a quick tutorial how to create your own sparse image. What is that? Well, first off, in your Applications folder, or you can go up to, while you're in Finder, go, and then Utilities, you can also do that. I usually like going through here. And then you're going to find Disk Utility. Once that opens up, right here. See where it says new image right here? And click that and you can tell it uh, backup. Well, so, and then I'll just save it straight to the desktop. Um, and you can, let's just put it, the volume size could be at 500, half a gig. And let's keep the format macOS extended journal. Let's put 128-bit encryption on it, and let's put no partitions on the map, just for example. I mean, you can do, there's a lot of them, but you, you don't even have to touch all these, except for maybe this one, that's about it. And let's just hit create. And here was the important part that I was waiting for. You have to create some sort of password. And let's just say if you do one, two, three, four, that's really weak according to that. But let's say you add in numbers and letters and punctuation marks, something like that, so you get a little bit stronger, plus, you know, a period, exclamation points, money symbol. Fair, it keeps growing up. Yeah. Oops. And I'm just going to put it as something like that. And then you can have it. You, you could, you do have the option to have it remember password and keychain, but I wouldn't recommend it in case, like, if your Macintosh got stolen or something. Now let's hit OK, and it'll start to create the backup Dimit DMG. And that'll take a few seconds, which is alright. And... It's almost done creating, formatting, attaching. And there it is. Have it appear right here in Disk Utility. Now, if you close out of Disk Utility, right here is here's your blank image right here, and you can put anything you want. You can put in a picture. A movie, maybe not a movie, but text document. Oops, anything you want. And this is gonna sit right on your desktop too. After you inject it. And here it is right here. I can't move the viewing screen over to the left, but you can see the outline of it at least. And then you just double click that. And see it'll ask for your password. And I'll put in mine. If I can put it in right. And there it is. There's all the stuff that I put in there. So yeah guys, just a really basic tutorial, and I hope you guys learned something from it. Take it easy guys, thanks for watching.